Hello everybody, um, this is Kinema, and welcome back to my Minecraft Let's Play. So in the last video, we uh, did a lot of the walls. I um, actually just started a small section and I finished a lot of it off camera. And just to kind of give y'all a kind of a time frame, um, I've been on vacation. Right now this is technically just my second day off work but I've been on it's uh, um, probably my fourth day I've had in the row I've had off and I have about five more coming so um, this week actually is my birthday week so I figured I'd you know I usually take the take the time off of work and usually do nothing but uh, get stuff cleaned up around the house and, and play video games and this time I'm gonna spend it making YouTube videos. So, um, as you're probably have already aware, if you've reached, you know, up to my this episode, um, I've been releasing them pretty much daily, if not a couple episodes a day. I'm, um, I think I recorded the last five episodes all back to back to back, and I have probably spent. Well, yeah, guys, is coming out of this thing now. Um, maybe a good 12 plus hours just sitting here playing um, huh. got some weird sounds going on behind me hopefully it uh, doesn't come through that well the mic so uh, next thoughts as far as what to do so I, I went over a future plans episode where I've listed out several farms down here um do got my mob farm, which I can't go any higher till I clear up all of this. And you know, my original thought was to add four more or three more sides to this. Um, oh, this thing is really working. So, um, what I think I mentioned in the last video, um, I really like this open space. So, when I had this stuff planned out, I had you know plans for a melon farm. You know, over, coming over here, pumpkin farm, and um, I've I've used certain designs uh, for a while now, and I may try to change it up. I, I may play around, maybe open up a test world and play around with some of my own. Um, the problem, the problem with Minecraft, it is is pretty old. Um, the game is still amazing. It's been out for several years. Um, so there's a lot of good designs out there and I guess it's it's really hard to stray away from them and try to create your new stuff you know your own stuff uh, usually as soon as snapshots and new releases which speaking of new releases the 1.8 update officially went live the day I'm recording this um, so that's kind of good I'm actually in the official release right here um, but a lot of the designs or good efficient designs have been done so uh, I may not try to go for efficiency I mean it's just me on the server I don't need to mass produce melons and pumpkins and other stuff for uh, you know for anything so um, I don't know uh, I'll see what I can come up with but as far as where I wanted them to go um, I have other plans for this. I like having this open. I don't want, you know, a big melon farm right here in the middle of the way, especially blocking my corner pillar. Um, it'd be too close to that, too close to the wall, depending on the size of it. So I'm actually going to probably build these things into the walls. So like this wall, for example, make, make an opening, have like an opening for the melon farm and do, uh, same design for a pumpkin farm. Um, got that right there. That can go up. May do another one on the other side, and then that can go up. Uh, I want to leave this as my mine shaft, and one video I'm going to kind of just fancy it up. Now that there's no void fog, that was another thing that went away in 1.8. It's a uh, nice that we can be all the way down here at bedrock, bedrock level and not have to worry about that. Um, but 
but then I can also come in here and do like a wheat farm and what I say uh, potato and carrot farm so just put each farm side by side built them into the wall kind of behind it and then just modify this section and uh, yeah so I think I I think I'm gonna like that um, while I was off off camera after kind of going over the wall um, dug in a little bit into this spot so what this is okay it kind of formalizes it a little bit I'm um, gonna make a good path up here uh, basically what this is it actually is just a quick little stairwell that I did um, and right here now we're in our mob spawner. So, um, this was the, the, when I finished this and added the lights, I just posted that video on YouTube right uh, today, and I'm probably gonna upload some of the others, but this room, I don't know, I've always, I've watched a lot of video, videos and people have complained about the darkness after rendering to YouTube, and yeah, it is. I, you can't really see in there at all, so. Um, Huh, you can keep the lights on and it still doesn't affect spawning. So that's good. So I wanted to brighten that up. And the other th the other thing I want to talk about is I'm recording at 1080p. Uh, the video qualities from my computer and the MP4 files that I record in, um, you know, look pretty good considering I'm <laughs> in Minecraft where the blocks and, and everything is, is a low texture but they don't come across that way when I process them to YouTube so um, I need to find out exactly why or what you know what's going on so if anyone's noticed that uh, I've definitely noticed it as well man for one spawning pad this thing is working <laughs> You can kind of already tell. I got quite a bit already. A, a stack of arrows, stack of uh, gunpowder, zombie flash, bones. Um, so yeah. So anyway, just wanted to kind of give an update uh, video. Um, go over kind of <laughs> go over future plans, even though I made a video on it. Um, kind of. And just talk a little bit as far as you know why I'm putting so many videos out. So for uh, for right now, um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and just clean up this cave, make it. Uh, um, there's a lot of lava here, so I don't know. Don't know exactly, but I want to do something different. I kind of I like that design. Um, and I may do more of the granite and the dark oak. I am worried about the lava with the dark oak. Um, been trying to be very cautious with it because um, I, that's the last place I want is to. Last thing I want is to set my uh, base on fire. So um, probably for the rest of this video, I'm gonna work on cleaning this up. Get this a nice straight pathway, stairs, so I don't have to jump. Um, going right up into this uh, spawning area and I'm probably going to leave this as a one wide entrance so you just walk through drop into the uh, a nice looking uh, tunnel and take this on through so let me go ahead and get that cleaned up and maybe start marking out some some other plans for this this room and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, um, did some work on the path. Uh, so, gotta figure out exactly what else I want to work on. And this thing is just blowing right out again. Um, but let me show you this path. <clears throat> it's pretty basic. Um, tried to fancy it up with some of the new stones. I really need to make a trip 
Um, I need. I really need to do some other stuff. Um, again, uh, I had to go back for a lot of the glowstone for these lamp, uh, redstone lamps, and I need to go back again because I need more. <laughs> Desperate for some uh, glowstone. Supposedly witches are supposed to spawn, and I don't know if maybe I'm just not getting them in here. That's creeper. Um, but I'm not getting anything that witches drop. So we're getting everything else. So that kind of kind of stinks a little bit, because um, witches actually drop glowstone. That's kind of what I was getting at. They drop the glowstone dust, and so yeah. So, went ahead, kind of made this a uh, nice little path. I started out with a nice easy slope, but then I was like, you know, it was just going to run out of space. Um, so I just converted it. I figured this looks pretty good because it kind of just takes you and the room opens up. Um, and as you get back here, you really don't need it to look too good, I guess. I don't know so I had to stick with the stone and the wood around this frame just because this is what's on the other side of this wall and if I did too much it would have uh, changed it on both sides so I needed to stay with this design and so I just kind of took it on down from there so um, I think of something to do but as a basic stairwell I like it and you know the other thing is do I need really need this stairwell anymore and I think so I think for getting larger items down here versus the drop shafts um, you know it may be worth it uh, you never know um, and I'll have to do some testing but this should be a pretty good path for a horse and if it is you know what I can do um, let's do this right now So I need to test it, but if I do get a horse or something and I wanted to bring them down, it's always good to have this path and then down here, and that should be plenty of space for uh, riding a horse through here to get a horse down in my bottom area versus the uh, areas on the side. So I think, um, I think everything's coming together pretty good. I mean, I really enjoy having the uh, the new blocks. Um, what I've done so far, as far as the walls, you know, doing the, the traps, since and so forth. So, sorry about my my dog. It's actually it looks like it's about the storm out, out here, and he freaks out during the lightning. So. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited as far as where, uh, and y'all can probably just hear the excitement in my voice. <laughs> oh man, I need, uh, so, yeah, anyway, I don't have too much more to say as far as this, so, um, I may go ahead and just stop the episode now. Uh, I did what I wanted to as far as doing the tunnel. And then talking a little bit as far as uh, redoing some plans. So um, I'm going to try gathering up some supplies. I may. Um, yeah. I don't really want to talk about next episode that much because I honestly don't know what I'm going to be doing in it. Whether it's going to the nether for glowstone or. Um, I really need to actually take a trip for the um, Nether Fortress, so I could probably do that. You know, just um, wander a little bit, see if I can find another fortress, find something exciting. So um, take a break from building because I've just been doing tons of it. And uh, so yeah, um, this is Kinema, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please uh, like. If you really like my videos. Um, or want to see more make sure to subscribe 
Um, haven't really talked about it too much, but I did sign up for, uh, you know, I have a Twitter account. I don't really use it, but it does get posted there when I release new videos if you want to stay on top of when videos come out. So um, you can follow me on Twitter as well. And yeah, so with that said, um, I guess I will talk to y'all later. Have a good day.